China has announced that it will peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. Pressing ahead on a green development path, it has made every effort to live up to its promises. The country has maximized the functions of its market-based mechanism to spur carbon-cutting endeavors. In July 2021, it launched a national carbon trading market, which is the largest market of its kind worldwide and has incorporated over 2,100 major power generation companies. Prior to the national carbon trading market, pilot programs on carbon emission trading have already been implemented at local levels. Tianjin began carbon trading in 2013. More than 130 emitters including 15 foreign enterprises covering diverse industries such as machinery and equipment manufacturing, steel, chemical industry, building materials, and agricultural and sideline food processing have incorporated in the carbon trading platform since then. Data shows that all the participating emitters in Tianjin have seen their carbon emissions below the quota for seven consecutive years. Meanwhile, an increasing number of foreign enterprises have also played an active role in achieving the country's dual carbon goals, and China's emphasis on renewable energy has created a vast market space for them. Flender, a leading global supplier of mechanical drive systems, is one of them. The German firm recently launched the 10th phase of its capital increase and expansion project in its Tianjin subsidiary. The latest investment of 300 million yuan came after an over 400 million yuan capital increase in 2021. The total area of the new investment project is about 9,500 square meters. Upon completion, it will provide customers with core parts and components for industrial and wind power gearboxes. We know half of the world market is here in China. That requires even more investment. And so the Flender Limited China became the largest gearbox manufacturer of Flender outside in Germany. Very supportive policies, especially also the China government with their 3060 targets. We are quite confident that we are in the right market at the right place. Tianjin really developed them as, really, as the pioneering city for the wind industry, offering excellent infrastructures with the harbor, with the universities, gives us the confidence that we, with our products and our solutions, can further grow in this market. Until 2060, we'll have such a great development of carbon neutrality. In 2021, China's carbon dioxide emissions per unit of GDP dropped by 34.4% from 2012, and the share of coal in primary energy consumption fell from 68.5% to 56% during the period. Apart from reducing carbon emissions, China has also made significant strides in renewable energy production in recent years to enhance its energy structure. The installed capacity of renewable energy power generation has exceeded 1 billion kilowatt in 2021. 